So Kool-Aid, if we go back in the 60s, they originally started as a hostel, which eventually turned into a shelter and eventually an emergency shelter. Now we have uh, senior housing, assisted living, and the way it's just grown is just, it's amazing and it's so needed. Kool-Aid supports and cares for many of Victoria's most vulnerable community members. The Victoria-based Community Health Centre operates emergency shelters and 14 apartment buildings for over 500 tenants with a wide variety of needs, connecting them to the organization's primary health and dental care services, group programs, job placement and more. Well, it started when I, when I came here like 30 years ago and you know, I, know where, I didn't know where I was going to be staying so I ended up in a shelter that was run by Kool-Aid and it also had in the same building uh, a medical office and doctor and it also had dental. It was all an all-in-one package kind of thing. In a way, they were like a mini community health center way back then. It's a place where people matter and people come first. We try to encourage most independence as possible but, and just provide the services that they really need so that they can live independently and they can come and go as they please. I'm not feeling too great. The tenant had come to the office and he said he wasn't feeling well. You know, we always take these things very serious and we appreciate they actually do because sometimes people won't admit that they're scared. So, so in this case, it was great. So he came to us and uh, so I was able to do a quick assessment and get him back to a safe place into his apartment. And gratefully, we have an LPN in our building now, which is just a new position and is very needed. So she was able to respond and to do a quick assessment to see how he is. In the past, we didn't have these resources, so we would have to automatically phone an ambulance. So you would sometimes have a fire department, ambulances, and all these resources coming, and then they would have to take him to the hospital, and then they do the assessment, and he'd be back in a few hours. So it was, it was just a lot of services that weren't really necessary. Now that we have the LPN on site, she's able to do an assessment and be able to say it's not needed, you know, because she has the expertise, and to monitor him and make the decision which way to go. So again, a great service that's, um, in the long run, it's extremely cost effective. I just wanted to make sure that he was safe and that he was doing okay, um, and making sure that his uh, blood pressure and his uh, blood sugars were doing okay today, and make sure that he got a nice meal so that he could go back and enjoy that in his apartment. And making sure that he he has everything that he needs or if he needs help navigating the health care system that we have in BC, um, we are the people that he can turn to and we're always here on site. The fact that Kool-Aid has their own clinic is really a, a great resource for us because we're able to offer that service. They don't have to have Kool-Aid doctors, you know, they can go wherever they want, it's their right. But it's nice when they don't have any of that service and they don't know where to go, we're able to direct them, including a dental service as well. So uh, their, their health improves immensely. In our model, we work strongly with our nursing, pharmacy, um, and other allied health team members um, to fill the various needs that that patient may have for their care. So we recognize that health is something that involves many areas um, in order for someone to have a sense of well-being and to better address that. It involves a lot of different people with different strengths rather than just a family physician. They care. They go out of the way, you know, they do the extra for you, you know, they help you in a variety of, they actually, even though it, maybe it's not part of their job, they advocate for you. Yeah. There are furtive places that maybe, you know, other people wouldn't do. So community health centers to me are the best way that we can deliver health um, and well-being to people because for me what they do is they start with a person um, at the center and they look at what those needs may be, whether that's dental, medical, nursing, physio, um, but whatever that is, we're able to accommodate and address what that person needs in order to be well. So it's looking at the bigger picture, it's a more holistic approach to well-being uh, that actually starts with patients. Uh, so I truly believe that that's uh, how we can best focus on them, rather than kind of a provider-driven approach to health care. Community health centers are well, they're, they're they promote community and you know caring for people and and people need to be cared about and they need to go somewhere where it's safe you know and they can count on people 
you know, looking forward to seeing them or welcoming them and, you know, not uh, disregarding them or, or all that kind of stuff. And, you know, community health centers, I mean, sure. they're, they're so different than the regular medical model. And they also are good at prevention. You know, they keep you well so you don't have to get sick, so you don't have to use the medical system and cost people more, taxpayers more money. Anything that we're doing in the community around prevention is delaying or preventing the onset of conditions that would require acute care utilization. So go, people going to the hospital or requiring specialist care are the things that are most expensive to the healthcare system. And all of the things that we're doing out in the community, that has tremendous benefits for people's emotional and spiritual health as well. When you have housing, you know, you, you have stability and you're grounded and, and you know, and then you, you socialize and then you, you gain confidence and, you know, you can, you can get out in the big world and no matter, you know, Whatever labels people have, it doesn't mean anything. You know, you, you know, you're just a relevant person in society. You're not a nobody. When all of us come together and work together, it's the most, it's the best way that everybody's going to be successful. Because what happens is, if it's just one person trying to manage all this, it doesn't work. Families burn out. The buildings like ours burn out. Uh, everybody. But when you come together and we all take a piece of the puzzle, it's not overtaxing on anybody and it's the best service that you can provide to the individual that needs the support.